Hello and welcome to probably the least drunk show on the internet right now, the beer review. And today we have episode 25 and we have Leikheim Weissbier from Germany which have 5.4 respectable alcohol content and we will also use Weiss glass because it's designed for this kind of beer. So what I can tell about this brewery, well it seems to be a commercial brewery as far as I can tell, there are several beers available from them. I have two others from this same brewery. Uh, one was like Pils and one was something like half dark beer I think. Anyway, I haven't really looked into them. This is the first one I did, did, did take a look and it seems to have quite actually nice ratings. On Red Beer is 3.10 rating before I rated it and in case of the style it's like 69 <laughs> sex number anyway bad joke so uh, meaning the larger number in the style it's the better example of this vase beer and it's being classified as vase bin half a vase I don't really know what the half a vase means but anyway it's still a vase beer meaning it's a wheat beer so I guess we will open it up and see how it goes we will have our usual suspects uh, smell, form, appearance and the taste. I will use my beer rating checklist, but I still have not really changed. But I had one small thought just before I started this review. Because I am rating appearance in a way that how actually the, the brewery, the bottle, the bottle cup is kind of designed. In case of the can, I don't really have a bottle cup, so... I may give some small extra points when thinking about appearance regarding that. Anyway, is everything in focus? Seems to be, I guess. I didn't really recheck, so let's do it manually just in case it seems to be in focus. Anyway, so we will open it up and see how it goes. Let's hope it that do not explode. One thing that has been mentioned you should kind of shake this beer because there should be some yeast at the below parts of it. Anyway, let's open it up. It seems to be set quite cool. So, I don't usually smell from the can because you get some metallic smell from the can, but anyway, you can still try how it smells. Yeah, I think I will do smell after I pour it in, so but I can start with the foam, I guess. So I will take a small, not a bite, small sip of it and see how it feels in my mouth. Okay, it's quite uh, thin, it's to the soft side. It does do have some little bitter sweetness somewhere in background, but it's quite, I would say, non-specific yet. So I guess we can pour it in and see how it goes. As it was suggested, I will kind of shake it around it. It could help. I will maybe do it more when pouring. I guess I'm pouring right now anyway. Let's see how it goes. I'm not sure if it is the glass or the beer, because all the time I'm pouring the vase in beer glass, it's kind of filling up very nice with foam. If I foam, spill it right down. So anyway, it seems to be like a large foam, and it seems to be a large white foam. Yeah, I'll move this up a little bit so. So let's see the appearance of it. It seems to be hazy yellow orange. I would call it hazy yellow amber. And also it seems to have medium carbonation here. So let's go with smell now. Because we still haven't done the smell. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting this. So it's medium strong. 
you do have some banana, banana notes, some sweetness, some malt and some yeast. Actually kind of like it, so that's a good thing. If this in the focus seems to be. So let's go with our final thing, taste test. Let's see how it goes. Feels good, actually. Feels refreshing, feels good. I can feel some banana notes. Some. It's not bitter, it's like... So it's rather sweet, so let's see. So, the final thing that I'm writing in the taste, it, it has some banana, it's rather sweet, but weak in that regard anyway. So it is yeasty and has some acidic notes. I do enjoy this beer, I find it quite refreshing. So let's see how the rating sums up for this one. We'll use our rate beer checklist, as I said. Regarding aroma, let's smell it one more time. <laughs> I'm not sure if between 6 and 7, I would put 6 probably, it is decent but it is not, it may be quite weak actually, eh, I'll put 6 here, I will think about 7, maybe I will change it, regarding appearance, well, it doesn't look anything wow, so beer jukes looks just fine, Regarding the Brewer logo, well, that's fine. The design of everything is ah, fine, so so it, it is a can and everything together, so I'll put three for appearance, because reasons. Regarding taste, let's try one more time. I will say it's uh, six. It's a fine beer, refreshing, decent. Nothing really wrong about it. Hmm, not a long time. Yeah, nothing wrong about it. It has okay balance. Nothing really wrong about this. So palate is also as three. Overall score, it should be between ten and fifteen. I think I would put twelve here. Yeah, I'll put like 12 here. So with my new checklist, it has score of 3. And with the previous one, the score of 3 was not if I like, eh, mech beer. But with this one, it's actually, means like it's a fine beer. So, as what I have noticed, the, after implementing checklists, the score has been kind of getting lower by like 0.3 or 0.4 maybe in some cases. So I guess in the old checklist it would be like 3.3 or something like that. So anyway, I did enjoy it. It's a nice, fine Weizen beer. I have had better, of course, still. It is. It was cheap, actually. It was for like 70 euro cents or something like that, or 75. So it's cheap from the cheap side. So you see the beer is a fine beer. Anyway, if you can try this beer, leave your comment if you liked it or no. If you have any suggestions what I can improve regarding my content, feel free to leave a comment as well. So, like, subscribe, and see you soon. Bye bye bye.